What's going on guys? Welcome back to episode number four of the Shotcut Masterclass, breaking down everything there is to know about the great, amazing beginner video editing software that is Shotcut. Really simple beginner video editor, and this is the series, six parts or seven parts, I'm not too sure, breaking down literally everything you need to know about this program. Uh, you know, if you take this quick masterclass, it's about an hour, you're going to know everything there is to know about Shotcut, and uh, you know, well, you know, <laughs> I might not know everything there is to know. I'll cover my bases there. I'm not going to be arrogant or anything, but, uh, you know, I know a significant amount and I'm teaching everything that at least I know. You'll 100% be able to use this program completely after this episode, uh, after this series, rather. But <laughs> I talk so much, goddammit. Sweet. We're jumping into Shotcut. This right here is going to be the titles and um, text episode. And surprisingly, there's actually a lot you can do with the titles and text to a certain extent. Now, we finished off the last episode, which was the video effects and transitions in not the greatest way. Unfortunately, they don't have the most amazing color grading options, which is the last thing that we looked at in the last episode. But we were still able to create a pretty convincing color grade right here, which just adds on to our drone shot. Um, of me walking up the castle <laughs> with my homie yarn. Um, and right here, we're going to be kind of jumping onto that and showing how we would actually create some titles and text. So titles and text, again, really simple. And again, it's going to be done through the predominant video effects tab, which is the filters tab. Not even the predominant. Predominant implies there's others which are more inferior. This is the only filters effects tab. So we're going to the only one. Uh, filters is right here. We're going to hit the plus button and we're actually going to type in um, something you might not have expected, honestly. And I'm pulling your leg because we're going to type in exactly what you would have expected and that is text. <laughs> and just like that, it's going to kind of add us the default, which is a time code down here, which is kind of cool, I guess. Um, all we want to do is go to the text right here and customize it. So what do we want to do? Let's go ahead and type in uh, subscribe just to give you guys a little tip on how to get involved in my channel and... Uh, <laughs> I'm going for a right hook. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I'm going for a right hook. Subscribe. If you're not already, do it. It's worth it. Now, if we actually just highlight that, we can actually go over to the Verda, which is the font, and click it. And I'm actually going to go ahead and just get my signature font, Gotham Ultra. Go ahead and press OK. We've got the subscribe. And, uh, you know, I actually want to highlight the exclamation mark and see if I can just go to the font color and change the exclamation mark just to a yellow. Oh, apparently we can't. C apparently we can only do one base color the entire time. That's cool. Absolutely fine with it. It says subscribe is what it is. Now, the very cool thing about the titles and text section, which um, kind of has to has to be there. If it wasn't there, the text and title section would suck because this would be the extent of it. This would literally be it. Um, but, you know, the kind of cool thing to do, if you will, is the presets, right? So the presets right here is loads. And you've actually got the ability to do like a lower third. Well, they'll pop it down there for you just like that. For example, subscribe, you know, subscribe to my channel or whatever channel. Um, or you could actually do uh, like some animated stuff. So for example, if we do like a, um, let's actually bring this in a little bit. Um, and actually go here to preset and actually go to like a slide out right, right? So for example, it will actually start sliding out to the right if it did not just crash. Wow. Oh my God. I'm just going to keep it running. Um, wow. And we've loaded back up and we're back. Okay. So that right there is a very accurate thing. It will crash sometimes. This right here, just for, for everyone who, you know, I'm going to move my water bottle. This is a, a $2,000 PC over, over a two point something thousand dollar PC and uh, shotgun just crashed. I'm, gonna, I'm leaving that in 100%. I'm not cutting that out. Hell no, that would be fake. I'm, I'm leaving it in to show you that you're not you're not alone because I've had a lot of comments saying, shotgun crashes for me, this and that. I just want to tell you, I'm on a two, two, two plus grand thousand dollar PC and it just crashed just like that and came back just like this. So, you know, if that has happened to you at any point, you're not alone. It's happened to me as well. But we want to go to the presets, go ahead and put slide in from left and actually press play. And we have now an animated title that literally has animated itself. Just like that, just from these presets, which are super simple, just to select slide in from left, slide out left, for example. Um, you know, we could give this a play and I believe it'll probably slide out now. So we've got to animate in, an animate out, a, a slow pan up. So it's, again, give this a play, see what it's saying. So this is slightly gonna be going up. You see what I mean? You've got all these amazing presets, which are great. I absolutely love these. You've got some top left stuff, leave stuff up there, some top, top right, and all these different presets. I absolutely love it. This is hands down one of the kind of coolest aspects of 
shortcut that there really is because uh, with these beginner video editors, I think they should provide loads more pre-made stuff, which I like that, you know, the text-wise, they've added loads of pre-made animations because people who are beginners, they want pre-made stuff like they really do. I remember being a beginner. I wanted a bunch of pre-made stuff so that... Um, you know, I could see what was possible, and also I didn't know how to do much professional looking stuff right off the bat. So 100% presets are amazing in this, and I think they really make up for the fact that the filter section is more or less kind of limited, but the text is, well, to be honest, who are we kidding? The text is limited as well, but at the end of the day, um, uh, you can at least do a bunch of animations and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. And uh, you know, just like that, that right there concludes our titles and text section of the Shotcut Masterclass. If you've enjoyed, make sure to check out the full playlist link below, uh, below in the description, or don't even worry, the next episode will start playing right after this because they're all linked together. So just keep watching, and the next episode's coming up. Sweet. I'll see you there.